Welcome back to my corner of the internet, guys. I am the Lucid Dream. Today, we are going to be looking at the frauditor that loves to instigate things with banks, and he happened to be... I'm sorry? HIPAA violation. Bless your heart. <laughs> so you think it's a HIPAA violation for yeah, people to is. take photos on a sidewalk, huh? It's a HIPAA violation to be recording people in recovery in a treatment center. It is. It totally is. I know my yeah. I know the law. Now please do not take this the wrong way, but uh, have you been drinking today? <laughs> I'm just asking. I can, I'll smack that camera out of your hand. Yeah? I swear, I swear to God. Good to know. Go ahead, give it a try. Oh, give it a try, see what happens. Give it a try. Damn straight, I do. Yeah? Fuck off. You're a bitch. Yeah? You're a fucking Take a swing, buddy. See what happens oh, to you. You got base. Put the base down. Put the base down, bro. Come on. Put the base down. Throw it. Throw the mace. Why would I, why would I throw I away the mace? I don't give a fuck about your mace. Yeah? You're a bitch. Yeah, yeah. You're the one crying about HIPAA. Fucking who, brother? Boo fucking who? Hey, let me put it away. Hey, if I if I put it away, will you take a swing? There you go. Here. There you go. I put the, I put it away. Hey, ma'am, you want to record this? Can I? Yeah. Take a swing, motherfucker. See what happens to you. Come on. Well, who's the pussy now? Walking away, are you? Go on, pussy. There you go. There you go, princess. There you go. Come on. I put the I put the mace away. Come on. Looks like you're all talk, huh? You know, he puts this disclaimer up there that he didn't know it was a rehab center and that they aren't going out of their way to film rehab centers. I don't believe it. I, I think it is absolutely ridiculous because if that was true, when that man walked up to him and said, you know what, you're filming the patients, um, he could have walked away. Very simply, instead of being a dick, he could have walked away. So now he's doing it intentionally just to be a dick. There's no point in this. Obviously, it is not about the First Amendment. Um, again, this is the man who films banks. This is the man that is intentionally out for negative interactions. Bitch. <laughs> the guy told me to, to, to put the mace away and, and he would uh, feel it was a fair fight. So I put the mace in my bag and I guess he kind of chickened out. Oh, this is psychopath over here making threats against me because I aimed it. He said it was a HIPAA violation for me to aim my camera at the, uh, at the rehab center apparently. There's a rehab center over here and, and a bunch of, uh, you know, hey, I, I mean, I support... Uh, people with drug and alcohol addiction getting rehab, totally support that. I do not support what appears to be employees of a drug and alcohol rehab center making threats against me and 
I, that's just, yeah. <laughs> Put your mace away and, uh, and I'll fight you. Well, I guess he won't. I guess uh, the moral of the story is, if you're gonna threaten somebody, be prepared to follow through on those threats. He told me to put the pepper spray away. I did, and all of a sudden he got cold feet. Bless his little heart. <sighs> this has been Mike Norton, KULT News, Lacey, Washington. I had planned on ending this rather uneventful video right here, but then I turned to my right as I was walking away and saw some folks walking out. So let's go ahead and pick up the video right where we left off. It gets a little crazy. This is a public sidewalk and I wasn't recording anybody until this jackass flipped me off. So you can have him to thank for it. I'm on a public sidewalk, ma'am. Hey, no, come on back. I put my pepper spray away. He said he kicked my ass, but my pepper spray away, so I put it away. Okay, so this is a private facility. We have patients here. Ma'am, I so, could care less. I'm standing on a public sidewalk. Can I ask you why you're reporting on the facility? You can ask. Okay, why are you? Well, I'm not gonna tell you, but you can ask. Right, yeah, call the cops. Yeah, go ahead and call the cops. You sound like a moron if you tell them it's a HIPAA violation, though. I'm just saying. I'm walking on a public sidewalk. I understand, but this is a public One of your jackasses over here made threats against me. One of my patients. Hey, call them what you want, man. I'm Gen X. You tell you make threats against me. I'm going to stick around and do what I'm doing twice as long and twice as hard. Yeah, as a Gen Xer, we do not claim him. Uh, here's the thing. Setting the legality of filming on a sidewalk aside... There is a human component that is missing from so many of these frauditors. One human being to another. There should be some bit of compassion in you that would realize, hey, you know what? These people are trying to get help for their issues. And they probably don't want their faces blasted all over this moron's YouTube channel. He has no empathy whatsoever for other people. It's just the entitlement that he is entitled to to this. Like all other frauditors, they feel like they are entitled to take from other people. The legality aside, it's just gross. Why would anyone want to live in a world where the, the people are like that? Why? You put up a big giant freaking wall. This is a public sidewalk, ma'am. I'm on a public sidewalk. You're all talk. Bring it on. I'm right here. Go on. You look like you need six months in jail. You need six months in jail? Come on. There you go. Woo! Come on. There you go. What's going on, please? Yes, I have a uh, person here right now that's recording us at Royal Life Center. What's the address? Uh, 8649 Martin Way East, I'm on a public sidewalk. Tell them that. Okay. Um, are they Tell behaving the disorderly or what's going on? It, well, he's right now and he's recording us and he's antagonizing our From a public sidewalk. Be sure you mention that. From a public sidewalk, sure a public sidewalk and there he's just go. recording. And you know what I mean? We are a private facility. And okay. um, he's antagonizing our patients. So um, I just wanted to see if you could send some cops here to take care of us. Kevin, Kevin. Okay. Well, you say antagonizing patients. What is he, what is he doing? He's basically calling them jackasses, and he's telling them this and that, and that he can record from the outside. And, um, oh, no. And Don't beat up the wants. mailbox some more. He's just recording us and antagonizing my patients for myself. <laughs> Kevin, go inside. What type of facility is this? This is a substance abuse treatment center. Okay. And, you know, we're bound by HIPAA and everything like that. Uh-huh. And, you know, just... Calling my staff names and calling my dad. What's it? What's she look like? She is wearing a red hat and some glasses and a shirt and and he's on the public sidewalk. He says he doesn't want to give me a name and why he's recording us. Okay, is he wearing a gray t-shirt and jeans? Yes. Yes. Okay. How do you know that? Um. Well, we may be a little familiar with with him. Is he like in his maybe forty, fifty year old? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's him. That's him. Okay. Yeah, he, um, yeah, he's, uh, 
This is not the first time he's done something like this before. Can I get your name? Yes, my name is Yolene Tapia. What do you mean it's not the first time he did something like this before? He's we got a call about this. We got a call about this earlier. Oh, you um, did? Yeah, at a different location. Can I get your uh, phone number? My phone number is 786 area code 641. Okay. Get the, get the guest in as soon as possible. Get the guest in as soon as possible. Let's see if I can find that call. Just so they know they know what you're doing, you gotta call the police they gotta call the police about you doing this to another facility. So they're already on to you and they know who you are, sir. They're on to me. They know who I am. Oh my gosh, do they know I'm on a public sidewalk and that public photography isn't a crime? Do they know that? This guy is just such a wretched human being. Absolutely disgusting. You know, when the fraudator trend eventually dies, as it will, like all trends on YouTube, it will eventually die. He is one that I will applaud when his channel dies. We're already starting to see it. There are other channels that are already dead in the water. This is one I will be incredibly happy to see the end of. Um, I want you to go ahead and stay separated from him. Feel free to um, keep your keep you guys separate, safe and separated. If you need to close the doors, yeah. lock the doors, whatever you need to do, that's okay. Um, if yeah. he becomes further aggressive or anything like that, I want you to call us back. Uh, can you see any weapons on him or anything like that? No, I don't see any weapons. He's just recording with a tripod. Huh? He has me. He, and he said he told our our patients that he has me. Okay. And they'll use, it, they'll use it on them. Why did he? Was he? Was that like in response to like a threat or anything like that, or was he just yeah, randomly? Yeah, the guest was telling him to to leave and stuff like that, and then he said, okay. you know, yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right, we're gonna go ahead and have uh, law enforcement meet you out there. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Ma'am, are you under the impression that what I'm doing is against the law? So you didn't just call the police then? Why would you call law enforcement if no laws are being broken? But you are disturbing a facility. I'm walking down a public sidewalk. But you're recording them. So what? Permission. It's a public sidewalk. It doesn't matter. You're recording them without their permission. Well, I don't need their permission to record them in public. Sir, honestly, whatever you're trying to do is, is being recorded to the police. And you did this to somebody else and they reported it to the police. They're on to you and the police is on their way. So somebody else reported me for walking down a sidewalk taking photos? Oh my gosh. Taking photos? photos from a public sidewalk? Yeah. yeah, I'm not terribly worried about that. You know, it's well, it's a public. You, you know, maybe. I I don't know if you're from I don't know if you're from North Korea where where this kind of behavior is unacceptable. But in the United States, we have the First Amendment, and it's a freedom of press. And see, people can walk around in public and take photos of anything they can see in public, except for bathrooms, locker rooms, dressing rooms, and courtrooms. Hi, I'm Officer Evers. So I assume the guy with the camera is who you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, so what's kind of going on? So he's just, he stood there and he started recording, I guess, coming from groups or patients. This is yeah. a private facility, you know what I mean? There's privacy here that needs to be kept. Yeah. And of course, you know, one of our group facilitators saw what was going on and the guest was telling him, patient realistically, was yeah. telling him to stop recording. They got a little bit upset about it. He stated he had mace, you know what I mean, if he came up to him. Yeah. So they called me from the inside of the room. I'm the executive director. Okay. Um, so basically, my group facilitator let me know what was going on. I came out here, and he's basically antagonizing my patients, antagonizing my staff. He pulled the mace out. He pulled the mace out. You know what I mean? Okay. He didn't use it, but he pulled Did it he, out. Did he like point it in at you guys or anything? No, no, no. At the point, I guess. Oh, okay. So was he on the property at that time? No, he's, that's what he kept on stating, that he's not on property, uh, he's on the sidewalk, and he can do whatever he wants. Gotcha. The thing is that this is a private facility. This is a yeah. detox, this is an outpatient, and we have yeah. patients here. We're bound by HIPAA. Yeah, he absolutely. can't be recording my patients, Yeah. you know, and he thinks that he can do this right now. Yeah. So I called you guys, and apparently the when I was explaining the situation, and I was explaining, like, uh, your operator, asked me to describe him and I started seeing a red hat and the camera and all that yeah. stuff. She's like, does he have a gray shirt and this and this and that? And I'm like, how do you know that? Yeah. She's like, we are want an auditor. An auditor? Yeah, have you heard of them? No. Yeah, so, I mean, an auditor yeah. for what? The, usually for law enforcement. So they like to create these like 
situations to see if law enforcement, how we react to stuff. So, are you um, serious? Most likely, usually after we come and we don't give them anything, usually they leave. It's very, you know, yeah. So let me, um... So basically they audit, they you create these scenes for you guys to come on scene and see how you handle it? Yes. Try to see if you got... So it's like planting some stuff? Yes. Like misconduct. Like they try, yeah, they try to see like if we escalate the situation and get irritated. Like usually they stay on sidewalks on like pub, in public areas where they're not committing a crime and then they'll come up, to, you know, and then they'll see if the officer's like, okay, you're under arrest or when they're not committing a crime. like take it out of context. Yes. So, they... so this officer knows exactly what he's doing. They're not going to give him the satisfaction of the negative police interaction. He has already gotten enough. Again, legality aside, you have to really take into account how wretched of a human being you have to be to target a treatment center. Even if the guy had walked up to him first, there is no shred of human decency in this man and that is disgusting his luck is going to run out eventually he's going to screw up and he's going to get arrested and i am going to throw a fucking party when that happens thank you so much for watching guys please like comment subscribe let me know what you would like to see and i will catch you on the next one